ma'am i was like clueless first of all because i had no idea like what to study mm-hmm. and what to not it was mentioned like a uh, drama poetry fiction just like that it was mentioned and i don't know what all should be covered under those uh, topics only mm-hmm. after going through uh, the syllabus provided in the arpita karva app only then i got a clear idea like okay all these should be should have been included in the in that so only mm-hmm. then i got a clear idea ma'am and uh, um firstly it was like uh, it was very challenging for me to uh, to complete all those things ma'am but gradually i had uh, i was able to cope up with the pace ma'am in your every single video lecture it was very crisp important efficient and effective and it is very easy to understand things even if, even mm-hmm. the comple- uh, complex concepts are made easy by you so that mm-hmm. made me to choose uh, this app particularly ma'am Happy to see you, ma'am. Same year, same year, and firstly, a big congratulations from my side. How should I address you, like uh, Sai, Shushma? What should I say? I'm feeling nervous, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> Sai or Shushma? Okay, okay. I I think Shushma looks better. Uh, uh, it's a it's a beautiful name, so I would like to call you by that name. So, uh, Shushma, how do you how are you feeling after qualifying next? how is how that feels i didn't even expect this ma'am now i'm like over the moon ma'am i'm very very happy wow wow that is amazing and i am so glad that um, you know uh, you were able to achieve it and we we did it together uh, in this prep, uh, in this journey i was able to provide some help um, so thank you so much for choosing us and uh, thank you so much for uh, you know taking out time for this interview uh, i am very very sure that the uh, question and answers that we are going to share in this uh, couple of uh, minutes uh, is going to prove very beneficial to students who are uh, preparing for net or aspiring to sit for this exam so firstly i want to know more about you where are you from and what have you done in your graduation post graduation and what made you choose uh, ugc net yes ma'am mine was a science background ma'am uh, mm-hmm. i have taken bpsc in my intermediate and then in my undergraduation i have taken eeh that is advanced english communicative english and history and then i have done my masters in english language and literature and i have started my ugc net preparation in um, november 2022 ma'am i have taken the subscription in arpita karva app and i have taken subscription for 6 months and then uh, i got 79 percentile in my first attempt uh, i did not get qualified in that and then this was my second attempt ma'am in december 2023 uh, my masters uh, got completed in september 2023 that is very recently so i got uh, two months or so uh, for my preparation so mm-hmm. this is it. oh wow and from where have you done your graduation and post graduation which college uh, under graduation from government degree college anandpur ma'am and uh, post graduation from sri padmavati mahila vishwavidyalayam that is in tirupati okay. and both are in andhra pradesh ma'am same state okay okay same state great and what made you or inspired you to pursue a career in uh, as a lecturer like since you were a science student why the yes. shift ma'am my mother is a lecturer ma'am and she is my greatest inspiration so even i thought of becoming like her wow wow that is that is wonderful and um, so i have a couple of questions for you um regarding your net prep and uh, how did you plan your uh, entire uh, you know how did you cover the entire syllabus so firstly i would want to ask uh, sushma that um, you know how was your study routine like so when you were preparing for net so for how many hours did you study and how did you like uh, plan your preparation or, like did you study for like the full day uh, 
just one subject or did you also study paper one uh, uh, with it yeah yes ma'am as i have said earlier i have started my preparation in november 2022 mm -hmm. so then it was uh, the beginning of my third semester ma'am so i was not able to manage both my college works and uh, Uh, I just need preparation, so I had to wake up early in the morning, like four or six, uh, four or so, mm -hmm. and uh, had to study for three to four hours and get back to college and come back to hostel and get mm -hmm. my college works done and then uh, give investing my time in I just need preparation, ma'am. Like I used to study six hours, ma'am, uh, while okay. I was doing my masters. And in my fourth semester, it was very hard for me to cope up with both the works. So mm -hmm. I have stopped my preparation. It was like simultaneous, my uh, like um, I used to uh, complete uh, mm, modules from both paper one and paper two, ma'am. Like okay. it was like okay. a simultaneous preparation. Uh, but I was not able to complete all the modules for my uh, June net exam. So I was able mm -hmm. to complete ninety percent of uh, uh, the syllabus for paper one, but I was not able to complete uh, uh, half of the uh, lessons in British literature, ma'am, in that first oh, module. Okay. So I have taken capsule course also because I was left hardly with twenty uh, three days or so, ma'am. So I have taken capsule course again, and I tried very hard to cover all those modules. And with whatever confidence I have, I have appeared for the exam. But uh, it's okay. I have uh, not qualified for the first time because I know I have accepted it because I uh, I have not covered everything. I have not covered mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. modules. So uh, with a positive attitude, I have start have just started it fresh uh, in the month of uh, October twenty twenty three. So uh, in October twenty twenty three, again I have taken the subscription, and mm -hmm. then uh, uh, initially I used to study for nine hours, ma'am. Because it was really uh, vast syllabus to cover. I used to take every single uh, audio lecture. I used to take notes for every single audio lecture. So mm -hmm. it um, it was uh, it was really hard for me. So I used to spend nine hours initially, and then after completion of this British literature module, uh, it reduced to six hours, ma'am. Because uh, I have completed a greater part. Mm, some of the modules of paper one in my June preparation only, so mm -hmm. that uh, benefited me. So that's then, wonderful. Uh, that's wonderful. Yes. And what, like, what notable difference did you observe between the two attempts that you gave? Ma'am, in the first attempt, uh, not all the questions are so familiar, and uh, it was like. Uh, just an attempt and uh, analyzing the question paper, like in which areas the questions will mm -hmm. be asked and all. But this time it was like very, very familiar, ma'am. Every single question looked so familiar to me, and I was very confident uh, ap approaching all those questions and uh, attempting mm -hmm. all those questions, ma'am. This time I'm, I was very confident. Wonderful. And it is just so nice to hear from you that uh, you felt so confident uh, when you sat for the paper because that actually showcases that you've put in so much effort and you were all well prepared to uh, crack this exam. And how did you balance your preparation for paper one and paper two both? Yes, ma'am. I focused more on paper two, ma'am. And uh, after completion of all the modules in um, uh, from paper two, I started revising them. With that revision, I have included this uh, preparation for paper one, ma'am. So simultaneously, I used to do that, ma'am. Revision okay. for paper two and starting these modules from paper one. So paper that's one. how. Yes, ma'am. Great, great. And which uh, unit did you find most challenging in paper one? And like, in, what was your strategy to, uh, you know, prepare for uh, that unit? Yes, ma'am. This mathematical aptitude and data interpretation, ma'am, uh, it was like uh, uh, very challenging to me. So I've watched few videos in YouTube, ma'am. I have taken uh, those uh, videos help, so I was able to solve those problems um, in the exam which were given, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, how much importance do you think uh, mathematical reasoning, logical reasoning, DI, uh, play? in paper 1 and do you think that somebody who is not very good with uh, mathematical portion can also secure decent marks uh ma'am it depends ma'am if they are good at uh, 
in different areas other than this mathematical aptitude there is a scope there is a chance of getting secure uh, securing good marks in ugc net mm-hmm. exam but they should be very confident of other areas so absolutely you have to balance your weakness with your strengths right yes. right so true so true and uh, as far as paper 2 is concerned so like how did you approach let me first ask chronology based questions because this time there were a lot of chronology based questions did you yes, like re- remember dates or what what approach was there ma'am again it was very challenging to me to remember all those two uh, dates because there are many works many authors and many uh, dates to remember so uh, the only thing that has helped me a lot is sequencing ma'am your way of explaining things in a sequence so uh i remember things very well in a sequence so whenever i get a question uh which were la- based on chronology i used just mm-hmm. use this technique ma'am like i ju- uh there was a question from uh, uh thomas hardy ma'am like arrange the novels in uh, the order chronological, chronological order right so the at that time i was like okay just let me recollect in which sequence i have written the notes in which sequence ma'am has explained this so that has Wonderful. worked out ma'am wonderful wonderful and i think uh, that is the best approach also nowadays to we are also starting with this story form me chronology ko yaad karne ke liye we are giving like stories to students uh, but then uh, remembering in a sequence is way better than trying to remember publishing dates of these works because it yes, is very true. very challenging like you cannot remember it even for a day so exam tak to yaad rakhna is extremely difficult so which topics areas do you think uh, or do you consider most important in ugc net paper 2 like uh, any any modules do you think which are very very important uh, i think uh, theories and moments my moments and concepts mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then um, uh there are repeated questions from the uh, from those areas ma'am uh and then in british literature more questions are asked from um, after the elizabethan period ma'am mm-hmm. it was so surprising i thought shakespeare will be very important um, right. from that perspective but it was like it was not like that so after the elizabethan period it was uh, there were so many it, questions it after important. that yes. right right and literary theory as you mentioned uh, i would want to also ask that it is often considered to be the most challenging topic for ugc net aspirants because uh, it is not taught yes. in bachelors and masters so what was your uh, strategy or approach when you prepared for that yes ma'am uh, it's very hard to remember all those members who inc- who will be included in all those movements and theories and uh, the terms coined by them so the only thing i tried is practice and practice and multiple times of revision so i just believed in revising things multiple times and uh, i started waking up early in the morning like four hours so i have said earlier so uh, i tried to remember all those things even on the mm-hmm. exam day also i got up early in the morning because i don't want to regret after coming back from my examination so i mm. just wanted to give my 100% so i studied every single minute for that i invested my all my time in that so remembering oh. things is uh, very important for clearing ugc net exam mm-hmm. so uh, getting up early in the morning will work ma'am definitely so will we work. can absolutely because it is so peaceful that you can put in all your energy in learning and recalling those information and after reviewing the paper to syllabus for the first time like when you decided that okay you're going to appear for ugc net so you must have gone through the syllabus prescribed by ugc so when you went through that syllabus so what was the first step that you took like you know the syllabus and now wh- how did you decide that okay this is how i'm going to plan my preparation ma'am i was like clueless first of all because i had no idea like what to study mm-hmm. and what not it was mentioned like a uh, drama poetry fiction just like that it was mentioned and i don't know what all should be covered under those uh, topics only mm-hmm. after going through Uh, the syllabus provided in the arpita karva app only then i got a clear idea like okay all these should be should have been included in the in that so only mm-hmm. then i got a clear idea ma'am and uh, um firstly it was like uh, it was very challenging for me to uh, to complete all those things ma'am but gradually i had uh, i was able to cope up with the pace ma'am 
space that's that's not, that's really nice and uh, i i really um, you know i i really feel good that uh, the syllabus that we have displayed on the app kind of gave you that blueprint that okay this is what you have to cover and what not so how did you research and select the online coaching platform that best suited your needs like why did you opt for us there were so many other people out there so how did you choose yes ma'am i used to watch your videos in my undergraduation level also ma'am mm-hmm. so then i got to know about this app which is uh, helpful for you you see net so uh, if in in your every single video lecture it was very crisp important efficient and effective and it is very easy to understand things even if, even mm-hmm. the comple- uh, complex concepts are made easy by you so that mm-hmm. made me to choose uh, this app particularly ma'am okay okay thank you thank you so much i'm i'm glad that we could be of help in your preparation and um, another interesting question that i have in mind which i would want to ask is uh, you know a lot of students they face this uh, challenge in preparing notes for ugc net because you know syllabus is so vast so what was your note making strategy like did you make notes how how did you make it and how did you revise from them yes ma'am as i have mentioned earlier i have uh, noted every single audio lecture i have started making notes for that so there i have uh, started noting every single important point and mm-hmm. then uh, uh, like uh, like bullet points are out so so then i have started revising them multiple times so that's it ma'am okay okay so you you noted everything and you yes. think that making notes is very very important for this exam like yes. if you if uh, do you think that somebody who doesn't make notes can also succeed is there any other alternative way uh in general sense it depends man but uh, when it comes to ugc net exam it's very vast the syllabus is very vast so it's better to uh, make notes it would definitely help you not only for mm-hmm. ugc net exam and we can we can appear for set and jls and jls and dl so that and notes will be of right. a great help asma yes, great help so true so true and uh, how many mock tests did you attempt before the exam like like did you go through the mock test section of the website or did you also go through previous year papers uh i have not gone through any of the previous year question papers ma'am because you are giving uh, the questions from previous years like uh, in the in every single audio lecture so i was just even i have make a uh, note of them and then i have appeared for mock tests also ma'am and that mm-hmm. have boosted my confidence levels uh mm-hmm. So that was like a quick revision for me. That's that's true. That's true. Yes. And how did you handle that uh, last minute anxiety and pressure when, that you feel when exam is just a week or fifteen days away? Yes, ma'am. In the last few weeks, I have uh, stopped uh, covering new topics, ma'am, and I was mm-hmm. left with uh, European literature. Half of the mm-hmm. lessons were not covered, but still have to take a step. and have stopped the preparation and then have started revising multiple times so this time i was very very this time i am very very confident that i have covered a lot i have studied mm-hmm. a lot and i have invested a lot of lot of time and i have revised multiple times so uh, there is no such thing like uh, tension or anxiety ma'am so i was That's really confident and appeared for the exam that's wonderful and like while you were there in the exam hall and you saw those uh, tough or unfamiliar questions so how did you tackle those questions like did you find that in spite uh, in spite of the fact that you've done so much preparation you've done multiple revisions were you able to like attempt all the questions or were there questions which you found tough and you found okay, okay this is unfamiliar to me Yes, ma'am. Most of the questions look so familiar, but there are few questions which I don't find familiar. But with whatever uh, knowledge I have acquired from that app, with the notes and all, uh, I was able to solve all those questions. Also, ma'am, I was able to answer all those things with the knowledge I have acquired. You've had right, right. Yes. So, looking back, is there anything that you think you would have uh, done differently in the preparation? Like, were there any mistakes that you made and you regret? Mm. I don't think so ma'am but I would have spent a little more time so that I could have cleared JRF also 
So this time I would work on that, ma'am. I'll rectify. Wonderful, my wonderful. And we would love to see you in that list of JRF achievers next time. And uh, I would personally be really, really happy. You're such a sweet uh, uh, student. Like I've, I've just seen your face, and it is so innocent. And there's this very uh, little cute vibe that you, um, you know, send across to people you meet. So I wish you Thanks all so the very best for all the future endeavors that you are going to embark. And I'm definitely going to see your name in the next JRF list. I'm very, very sure. And uh, wish, uh, you know, I really, really wish that not just in JRF but in life in general, whatever you aim for, you are able to achieve. You are able to um, find courage to. move on that path with full dedication and perseverance and uh, send my best wishes in regards to your parents as well and give Thank them a big know. hug from my side for uh, bringing up such a sweet daughter and um, thank you so much for taking our time for this interview i'm really really happy yes ma'am it was pleasure talking to you ma'am and and a great a big thank you for you for giving me this opportunity to thank you directly for making my dream come true ma'am thanks a lot ma'am thank you thank you it means a lot and i am really happy that uh, we and uh, like our entire team was able to uh, sketch out a course which was helpful in your preparation i really believe that you know the like 80 to 90% credit definitely goes to the student because he is the one or she is the one who is putting in effort to learn those notes to uh you know sit for hours and prepare to burn that midnight oil but then if right guidance is given then the journey becomes way more smoother so i'm yes. i'm happy that you chose us and we were able to help you and assist you in this process thank, thank you, you so yeah. much yes. thank you thank you okay thank you so much bye bye Thank bye you, bye bye bye